Hey guys, welcome to another new video. My name is Sam, if you happen to be new here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I have not done in probably six months, I wanna say, and that is getting ready. I know you probably are like, Sam, what in the 80s? SpongeBob Tiger King bowl bang cut is going on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready. It's been about six months since I've had the energy, the mind capacity, the strength, the patience to even get ready hair makeup wise. It's been so long since I've worn like literal makeup, like this amount of makeup on my face. It's been quite some time. I just thought that we would kind of get ready and maybe this will be encouragement to help you get through something that you've been wanting to do or that you've been putting off just because it's been too exhausting to even think of. Maybe it's putting on a sock. Maybe it's starting that load of laundry. Maybe it's doing the dishes. Maybe it's taking a shower because whew, don't get me started on when you are struggling with mental health. Shower game is non-existent. It's non-existent. Don't even ask me how many days I go without showering. I can't tell you because you guys will judge me, but just know, okay? Just know that I'm clean today. <laughs> also, trying to make myself feel better, not that I'm a fan of retail therapy because that's not always the answer, but I knew I was gonna be trying to get back into doing my makeup slowly and I knew that there were a few things I wanted to purchase, some repeats that I needed to refill, so I'm gonna be going into some of those products that I got from Sephora. But some of those products are Fenty Foundation, Fenty Primer, and then also a few products from Rare Beauty. Let's go ahead and get to my bare face. All right guys, so it has been quite some time since I've actually gotten ready ready. I used to enjoy the process of getting ready. I did it like every day. I would do my makeup, kind of my hair, but usually I would at least put something on my face. I don't necessarily think I need to wear makeup every day. It's nice not to wear it, but then I also, I like wearing makeup. I think it's fun. I like playing around with it. And it also gave me like that sense of routine. I've been dealing with, <laughs> severe depression and high anxiety for the past I don't know it feels like forever but I started zoning in on this like during the summer because that was the worst of it it was pretty scary but so yeah doing my hair doing my makeup has definitely fallen off of my things to do I feel like I'm kind of you know, trying to get back in my groove, trying to be me. Maybe I should get ready as I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck saying or telling myself, I want to be how I used to be. I want to be my old self because I saw this. All right, let me start getting ready and then we can talk. Currently gloomy here in Salem. It's kind of wet outside. It's also kind of raining. Put my bangs up to you. How's that? So first I'm gonna spray Vital Beauty Brightening Mist on my face. It's vitamin C in it. I think we should probably zoom in for this. Oh <laughs> guys it's been so long. I haven't gotten my brows waxed nothing since the brow lamination video that I did on my channel like around fall time. Can we just focus in on these brows please? Like are you joking? The brow is like going into the hairline. I need to get them done but I will eventually. My longtime friend The Positively Radiant by Avino. If you aren't wearing sunscreen every day what are you doing with your life? So yeah I haven't got my brows done. My hair I don't really do right now just because the color has obviously grown out. I was trying to go a little bit more blonde like I wanted to do kind of like a ash blonde. I didn't keep up with it because sometimes I see like old photos where I have my orange hair and I just I loved it so much but then I also when I would have orange hair I liked it but then there were times where I thought I wish I had like natural color hair. You guys are part of my community over on my Patreon. I talked about that. With everything that I'm dealing with, I'm gonna go in with this primer by Smashbox Photo Finish. It smooths and blurs. I hope it snows. It's like raining snow right now, but I don't really know what I'm doing here with my life. <laughs> Point is that I'm kind of, I'm just feeling like I need to start like I need to, I just need to, you know? Do you have that feeling? This is so hard 
to do my makeup and to talk. Previously, I had been using this foundation from Rare Beauty, Team Selena. Before that, I was using Rihanna's Fenty foundation, which I absolutely love. Although I do like this one, I think I'll still wear it and I probably will purchase it again. I feel like it sits a little too on top. Something about my primer or my moisturizer that it just doesn't really care for. It just kind of sits on top of my skin, which is fine because eventually it melts in. I knew I wanted to go back to the Fenty foundation, so I grabbed some of that. Some other things that I kind of wanted to try out, thought I would include that in this video. Spraying my sponge because I'm too lazy to go get it wet underneath the sink. My point was that on my Patreon, I do personal, more personal posts there. I was telling everyone over there that with dealing with depression and anxiety. It's really made my self-confidence go down and I don't know how to deal with myself. It's awful, you guys. It's really sad. And I will be doing more in-depth video talking about like my mental health and just how that came to be. Oh man, but just low self-confidence, you know? And I'm trying to do things, putting myself first, trying to do things that make me happy. A few videos ago of where I was talking about my mental health briefly, a few people were like, well, do you think it's because that you're not being creative in a way that you want? That has something to do with it. We're gonna double up on this foundation because why not? That has something to do with it and then someone also said maybe I just don't love Halloween anymore and that's definitely not the case. This is why like I don't know Halloween stuff and like spooky things just come to me so easily. My creativity with like spooky things in Halloween it just comes so easy and I'm not trying to be like Meh. <laughs> that's my personality trait but it's really saved me from a lot of dark lonely sad times in my life. I know that sounds so silly. I've been telling you guys that from day one. It's still one of my true loves. There are other things that I want to do within the umbrella of like Halloween happy that I've been wanting to do and I think that because I just haven't had either time finance like the financial stuff to do things that I want to do and create that can kind of wear down on me. I'm so thankful for like my Patreon because that definitely helps. That has helped and I'll get more into that later on. I forgot how much I loved this foundation. It is like just melting right into my skin. With doing my makeup I'm like well what's the point because I feel kind of crappy. My eyebrows are really like grown out into my hairline and then also I don't leave my apartment because I'm afraid of the world. You know how you can get stuck in this like vicious cycle. So with the Rare Beauty, if I just went like this, you could just see the smudge on my pores and it would just come off my face. Going back to Rare Beauty, this is the concealer that I'm going to be using. This one is okay, I think. I'm gonna see how it does with this Fenty foundation. The Rare Beauty is like more pink, this one right here, whereas this one is more neutral. I'm liking how it sits on this foundation. So I'm going in with the setting spray from Smashbox. I love this stuff so much. You can prime your face with this. You can spray after your makeup is done and I just kind of usually pat it in with my beauty blender. Along with the creativity, like someone mentioned, do I feel like I just can't be creative and maybe that's where some of my depression is coming from? I would definitely say yeah, which is why I've been doing the plan with me videos and getting back into crafting because I really love doing that. I like messing with planners and stuff. Currently like in the beginning stages of teaching myself certain things, like a new hobby and I can't wait to share that with you guys as I get more into it. Guys, I got the Fenty Beauty Primer and I totally did not use it on my face because it's in my bag. I am going to be trying this for the first time. This is the Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Let's see what this looks like. And I got this in the same shade. A little cute compact. I was using the Fit Me by Maybelline. When you open it up down here, you have your sponge and a mirror. Oh, you get two mirrors actually. See what this looks like. So that's what the powder looks like on my finger. Takes away the shine. Okay, definitely glad I got this. I don't do a lot of contour. I'm gonna be using this ColourPop palette. Broke immediately. It was like my first little ColourPop haul that I got a while ago, but this is the Such a Rush Cheek Palette Quad. Highlighter, the bronzer, and then two of the blushes down here. I'm gonna go in by the nose. I just have like this old one that's pretty 
crusty and dry. She dry. <laughs> There's nothing even coming out. Why do I still have this? Girl, why are you even bothering? I'm literally about to take the skin off my eyelid. Oh. Next up, I'm going to be using this ColourPop palette. This is called Clay It Cool. Great for fall, good for spring, summer. My favorites are always like these metallic shimmers. I'm gonna go in with this first one, High Fire. I'm gonna put that into my eyeballs. <laughs> trying to decide. I don't know if I wanna go in with Figurine or if I should go in with Killing It. Figurine, just a little bit. I'm gonna do that all over my lid and then I'll probably go in with killing it like more into the crease. Oh my gosh, so last night I was working, I was at doing some editing and then I was just getting like kind of some house chores done. I'm trying to use like this weekend to get caught up for my channel. I started winding down like at midnight because it's on the weekend. So I was like, oh, I could stay up a little bit longer. It was midnight and I thought... I wanted to take a bubble bath, but since it was so late, I was like, I guess I'll just save it for tomorrow. But then I was thinking, and I'm like, should I just do it now? Should I just take a bubble bath at midnight, one o'clock in the morning? And so I did, and I was watching Golden Girls. That's my current like background TV show that I'm playing. I start, I started rewatching that, and I was just chilling. I had a candle burning. I had Golden Girls playing, and life was just so good in that moment i was really cherishing it now we're going into the crease i mean obviously this is not a beauty guru video this is just what i do <laughs> one of these two colors this is like just a good old light champagne color super pretty and then this one it looks really pretty but it just comes off a little darker on my eyeball this is my other base compact that i go in between using I wrap it up in this nasty toilet paper getting all bacteria hanging out and then this is what's left of this compact this is um is this Maybelline 2 or I can't remember what brand this is but it's a actually good powder go in with Earth Bay So normally I would do the Urban Decay Eye Primer and then go in with my lid eyeshadow. Inner corners, I'm just going to go in with that lighter shimmer color. I'm pretty happy with this ColourPop palette. The eyeshadows are really pigmented, at least the shimmers, and the matte ones are good. Making videos currently, it'll be fixed. This isn't me complaining, but this is just me telling you why sometimes it's hard to upload a video when you know, there's other things going on with my mental health, all that stuff, and how I feel. And then also, my laptop is like garbage currently. It takes me forever to like import the footage, it takes my software forever to take it, forever to put it into the editor. And then when I'm editing, it just like lags so much that I'm just like, this is pointless. Why am I doing this? It's not pointless, but very frustrating because I'm just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I could edit a video maybe two hours, but no, it's one video takes me literally all day at least because my battery will die super fast. And then I have an external hard drive that I have to plug in when I use my laptop to edit the video. I have to charge it and then I can do the hard drive. And then it just, it's complicated, but it's it's fine. As I'm putting up videos, just know that I'm doing my best. <laughs> Normally I don't tight line my eyes. I mean, I do sometimes, but I got this eyeliner. It was part of a, like an eyeshadow Christmas gift that Joe's mom got me. So zoom in to the eyes. Got a mustache going on. This is great. Then I'm using my go-to favorite, it's the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner. Usually if I want to go back in after everything's said and done, then I'll do that. Do the mascara. Actually, I have a, I have a set of lashes that have been in my drawer. Should we try them? This is a special occasion, right? Like feeling like I'm getting ready. 
you know, it's been a while since I've gotten ready. So should we do the lashes? I'm gonna try, but I don't work with them a lot. So I'm not like super fast with them, but we'll give it a go. I got these from ColourPop. They were having a sell a while ago, the Dame falsies. Normally when I do wear lashes, it's just like for Halloween, honestly, when I'm dressing up, I will trim them, but I don't know if I wanna trim these just because they're like, good ones they're not just costume lashes but I feel like I'll need to trim them but I don't want to before I would just do like a little bit of mascara and then put the lashes on top but that just hasn't been working out for me recently yeah these are gonna be way too long mm, they might not be the worst these are probably gonna be way too long but let's do it you guys seen those um, magnetic lashes? Oh, too much glue, Sam. They're gonna be way too long. Okay. Oh, I'm having a hard time. It's a little wonky. Did go ahead and trim them. And maybe I should go back to putting the mascara before I add these. We're gonna try this left one. This was the first lash that I tried and now it's like all gunky. Let's try this again. Oh, this glue is garbage. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think I trimmed the wrong side of these. Told you I'm not a pro. They're a little too drastic for me. Mm, they like don't even look like the same lash. I'm gonna try this again. Oh my gosh, you guys. The eyelashes did not work. And see, this is why I don't. I should have known damn well better that they weren't gonna work out. Maybe next time. I'm, we'll get it. I'm determined, but lashes looked crazy. Uh, brushing these brows that have no business being brushed because it's practically a hairline now, but that's fine. So we took the eye lashes off you guys it was like i was trimming them i was trimming them on my eyelash pretty sure i cut some of my natural lashes like now that i've taken them off i have glue all over my eyelashes like the eyelashes just look bald right now i have a little bit of length on them but they're just all glued together this is from where are you from milani uh, this is in strobe light. This is a really good one. I got this from walgreens in that quad palette it's a little too dark So I think i'm gonna go with this one Oh, I need blush. I want to try the Rare Beauty blush, but they are always sold out every time. The two times I've checked in like a year. <laughs> and then normally I will add some little highlight up here, but I don't really want to draw attention to what's going on up here. So normally I like doing a cool toned blush, like a pinky or like kind of just like a good like berry blush but i'm trying to use as much as i can from this quad because it's busted and i'm tired of carrying it in my makeup bag it's called ride high pretty dark it's pretty dark <laughs> pretty much do it just a little bit with this one you guys always ask me questions when i well you used to ask me questions it's been a while since i've done my makeup but you guys always ask me questions about the glitter that i use for my eyebrows for my eyelids, favorite thing ever, and I've gotten them so many times, but it's the Heavy Metal Glitter from Urban Decay. I have a few, I have like the gold, the silver, the pink, the purple, and I just love them so much. So I went ahead and restocked these because I knew, I don't know, these just always make me feel good and I just love wearing glitter. We should do silver or if we should do gold. Here's the gold one. And then here is the silver one. Sometimes I'll do the inner corner. Sometimes I do my eyeliner. Sometimes I'll do like underneath the wing. Do whatever your little sparkly heart desires. The current one that I had in my bag, there wasn't any glitter in it. It was just like the clear, the clear liquid. And so I would just put it on my eyes and it would run down and then I would just cry in pain. It's nice too because you can just put it on your eyeshadow if you want to make the whole lid glittery. I like doing my inner corner to about where my um, eyeliner starts. I like wearing lipstick. I like wearing matte lipstick. I don't like any kind of gloss on my lips except for chapstick as I'm getting ready but I just don't, I don't like gloss on my lips. I don't like any kind of shimmer because well I'm like, I have small lips, but maybe the shimmer would actually highlight the lips and make them appear bigger. Whereas the darker matte shades probably make it look like a little, little mouse 
mouth. <laughs> I'm trying this for the first time. This is from Rare Beauty. I really like the tube. You can also press it and it comes out. This is in the shade Wise. It's like a nice light brown. I put my lipstick on like a weirdo because I just cannot do it in one swipe because it puts too much on there and so I just like patting it and then building upon that. <laughs> it's a nice color. I wasn't able to try, well, retry the primer from Fenty, although I know that I used to love it anyways. I didn't really like pencil in my eyebrows or anything. What's the point at this stage, right? Where is my spray? Okay, Smashbox setting spray, just lightly. Oh yeah, I wish this smelled like pumpkin spice. I'm gonna press that into the skin. All right, guys, I feel like my hair's gonna get stuck. That's cool. Clip, you were supposed to do a good job up there. What should I do to my hair next, guys? Oh, Clip, you've ruined, you've ruined the bangs. What the heck, Clip? I gotta fix that. That's a little better, I guess. What in the bowl cut bang is going on? I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my hair, guys. I don't even wanna think about that. It's like, I'm just glad I was able to roll out of bed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop messing with my hair. Hope you guys liked this video. Thanks for getting ready with me. It's been a long time since I've done my makeup and my hair, probably about six months, and also play with some eyelashes that didn't really go how I thought. Well, no, I knew how they were gonna go. I told you how they were gonna go, but I tried it, you know, I tried, I tried it. I tried. That's all we can do in life, right? I'll do my best to link the products that I used on my face down below if you guys are curious. If you guys want to follow me on social media, all my links are listed down below. And besides, do you guys like my Nope shirt? If you have not watched Nope, I highly, highly recommend it. One of my favorite movies. I love it so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you are enjoying your day. If you're tuning in and watching this as a live premiere and you're in the chat right now, hey, shout out to the live chat. I love you so much. Much. I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!